Hi everybody, I hope you had fun with your baking soda and vinegar experiment yesterday. So what we wanna to do today is show the results of this experiment. So um, Christina and I couldn't resist yesterday just kind of finishing the experiment. Um, so we uh, reset it up to start today. So as you remember, or if you didn't happen to see the one yesterday, so what we have in our bottle is about a quarter cup of vinegar. We have a balloon attached to the top of the bottle and we have baking soda in our balloon. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna lift up the balloon and let the baking soda fall into the bottle and we're gonna observe what happens. We've got our safety glasses on. You ready to go? Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> All right, here we go. So what I am seeing is a lot of fizzing. Can you feel the bottle? So yeah. the bottle is starting to feel colder. Yes. There's lots of fizzing and bubbling. I can hear the fizzing. And look what's happening to my balloon. My balloon is inflating. It wasn't inflating when I started and I didn't blow it up. So what we have here is a chemical change. It's actually using energy, which makes the bottom of the bottle feel cold. Um, if you like the technical term, that's an endothermic reaction. And it's actually creating something new up here in the balloon. Can anybody guess? Christine, do you know what's being created up here in the balloon? I think it's our third state of matter, which is gas. Yep, it is a gas. But it's not air, which you would normally use to blow up a balloon it's carbon dioxide. So when the baking soda and the vinegar get together, they make all those bubbles and they get released into the balloon and blow it up. Carbon dioxide is the same gas that they'd put in soda or seltzer to make it nice and bubbly. It's also the gas that you exhale every time you exhale. So if you blow, you actually are blowing up a balloon with carbon dioxide. So other great ways you can um, use these kind of experiments is you can try different amounts of baking soda and vinegar to see if it goes faster or slower. You can try other things to see um, how many different ways you can do this experiment. If you have any questions, go ahead and comment on the Facebook page and we'll try to answer them. Um, and we'll also try to have a activity for states of matter that we'll add in that you can um, download and try at home. I hope you guys are keeping safe and having fun and have a wonderful day. And thanks for joining us at The Bishop. Bye.